Hi and welcome to my playhouse. And today I have a big box behind me uh, that has been sitting in my data center for ages. It's a big tape library robot. Uh, this one is produced by Dell and it's the Powerwall 136T. And I've kind of decided to get rid of this. Um, I'm not going to be using it for anything. And it's just a big box. Um, it has a lot of drives inside. Um, well, drives and drives. It has two drives, LTO2 drives down there. And that uses these LTO2 uh, tapes, which, well, they can fit 200 gigabytes or 400 gigabytes compressed on these tapes. So with all the bays in this, there are bays here, there are two bays over here. I think I calculated that it could store 14.4 terabytes. And really, we can fit that on one hard drive today. So, even though it's a big awesome robot tape library, well, I'm never gonna use it. So, um, but before I throw it out, I thought that we should just have a bit of a look at it. Uh, because I have a problem with it. I have a display here, and if we power it on... Uh, the di display box up. You can't see what's on it. Uh, in a second it will turn um, to something else. And I'm actually curious if I can fix that. You can see it says Dell Powerwall. Uh, 136T, I'm guessing, but all the information down here, hmm, no idea. So I thought that we should try and um, see if we can fix the display, maybe um, get some information out of it. So we'll turn it off again. There. Uh, it has a. Oh, ah, it's not. Don't want to open there. We have to open the big box. You're not really meant to open the big box here. Normally that would be locked. There's a locking mechanism here. So you shouldn't open that. You are to open this one instead. This uh, smaller door and replace the tapes. Because when then when you close that door again, it will check uh, what changes you made here. And uh, so it doesn't have to, to scan all the tapes in there and check those out. But I was gonna, I was gonna take the display apart when I thought that, well, this might be an interesting video. So the display is located here. It has a plug. I had had this out to see if um, if that would fix anything, and I did also remove the first screw. So um, I'm gonna take this apart and see what ha what is inside. Okay, I have all the screws out. Let's see if this comes out. Does. What do we have here? We have some big connectors. Oh we, oh, we have one big connector that we'll have to remove. There. Okay. So this is how that looks. Hmm. Not sure if I can fix this in any way. Looks like it's just a big display. Only a few cables. We can give it a try, wiggle the ICs, try the cables, well, not probably not much we can do there. I have a piece of cloth here to clean it a little bit. That's typical me. Uh, I decide something has to be thrown out and I'll clean it. Hmm. Totally defective there, I know. So let's see if we can wiggle these chips a little bit. Not easy to get down there. Anything on the back of these? It could be this cable that had a bad connection because that goes up to the display. Try and bend these connections just a little bit to make them touch something else in there. here if that's gonna do anything but well, it's worth a slim chance 
same thing here. Okay, it's not very dirty or anything, so that part is probably okay-ish. So, okay, let's put this back in and see if that did anything whatsoever. See if that did us any good. Probably didn't, but we're gonna give it a go anyway. No, nope. absolutely the same. Okay. Unfortunately, this model of tape robot, you can't really see what it's doing. Because there's no windows in it, <laughs> it doesn't use windows. <laughs> but um, yeah, that would have been nice. It's it's rack mountable, so you put it in the rack, and you have that sitting there. It's rather big. Uh, don't remember how many use, but it's well, a lot of use. Uh, on the back of it, it has room for these tape drives. This one has two tape drives installed. But there is actually four spots for more tape drives up here. So these two are LTU2 drives that are installed here. And they are all SCSI drives. So they are in a SCSI chain and that goes over to a controller over here. And that goes out to a computer so or server. You would plug in a server here. And then you would throw data over to the bus that was to be stored on it. Down here... There is a, some kind of a management module and also a serial connection so you can communicate with the box through an IP number or through a serial connection. Power goes in over here, it only has one power uh, connector so probably not redundant power solution in it but it has two fan blowers of which one is complaining. It might be two power supplies but well one of them is definitely um, complaining about something. Red light is often not that great the other one is doing fine so we have one red one green um, yeah yeah so it's broken I'm not gonna mess with it I was actually already not gonna mess with it it beeps and the door opens and you can put in some tapes or remove some tapes uh, if the machine was working you could actually tell it to to do something with these tapes um, yeah you might be thinking that no one uses tape libraries anymore that's where you're wrong they are actually still widely used uh, this one is just too old um, but where I work we have two not this old stuff anymore well let's the stuff we have isn't really that much newer but it has been upgraded and upgraded and upgraded these drives was LTO2 drives. The current generation is LTO8 drives. And where this can store 200 gigabytes, the LTO8 will actually be able to store 12 terabytes of data on one tape, on the same size of tapes. Um, you, you can't store 12 terabytes on these tapes. You do need new tapes and you do need new tape drives so every second year or so a new generation of drives comes out and you can upgrade and replace your tapes and therefore also your storage capacity um, LTO was invented or used as a standard by Hewlett Packard, IBM and Quantum back in the year 1999 and the first LTO one drive came out in the year 2000 and after that they have come out release by release by release so uh, yeah I do believe that this one actually can be upgraded to a later LTO version uh, don't think it's worth it I remember this being rather expensive I think I found some prices that they wanted about 25,000 for a drive for this one and I believe I was actually looking at those LTO2 drives back when we had this in production 
and it definitely wasn't cheap. So now my problem is that I have no idea what's on these tapes. I've never had this uh, working myself. So I'll take out all the tapes and I will throw out the machine. Um, actually, I'll let it sit here because this thing is bloody heavy. I had my cousins help me to carry it from my data center and in here on the uh, trolley thing. And uh, I'm not able to move it very far by myself, but I'm gonna get rid of it. When, when you can buy a hard drive of this size, 3.5 inches, and pay around $600 for a 14 terabyte hard drive, yeah, yeah, that one has just become too small to be any fun. So let's have a look inside. Um, yeah, it can be hard to see, but at the bottom there we have the two disk drives where the robot which is this thing. Yeah. It can turn around and it can pick up the tapes and it can put them into the tape libraries there. It, uh, it has 18 slots here. It has 18 slots on that one. It has 18 slots on another one behind it. And it has 18 slots on that one times 200 gigabytes. That ends up being a lot of drives. Uh, and the robot only it's rather dusty down there. I haven't cleaned it while I've had it. So it has, uh, let's get this up. It has a barcode scanner because all the drives has this barcode on the end of them. So it knows that this drive is this drive and it, it tells the internal computer where each of the drives are. If it needs it, it can go pick it up at, it, at its dedicated location in the library. I don't know. It has a locking mechanism here, the one that we could lock so we couldn't get in it. And when we uh, open and use this tray and close it again, it will lock that so we can't get in it right now. It's locked. Locking mechanism is up here. There, and we can open it. So when I close it, it will automatically lock it so that I can't open it again. And then the robot will scan if there is something different in these slots um, if if i put in a new drive it will know it so that's pretty cool the bottom tape down here the orange one here that's a cleaning tape so it it can use this tape to clean the heads of the tape drives in here it, it uses that sometimes um, it should have a barcode uh, telling the robot that it's a, a cleaning tape uh, so it as it doesn't have a barcode, it's not gonna work. It can be difficult. There's also a roll of tapes in here. So one, two, three, four tapes in this robot. Short video, thank you very much for watching. Do subscribe to my channel so that you can see me do something completely different next time. Have a nice day. Bye bye.